I call the member for Braddon. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise today to draw the House's attention to the need for a long-term funding commitment for the Mersey Community Hospital in North West Tasmania. My community is sick and tired of the hospital being used as a political football. The Honourable Minister for Health has inflamed the situation by refusing to make any commitments about the future of the Mersey. The community accepts the need for negotiations between the state and Commonwealth over the scope of services to be delivered, but what the community does not accept is short-term agreements or worse, the refusal of the minister to guarantee future funding. The situation has been exacerbated by yesterday's Senate estimates hearings where departmental officials also refused to guarantee anything about the Mersey's future, despite there being a reduced allocation of funding in the forward estimates. The official state of funding has been reduced to a base level but was silent as to whether extra funds would be forthcoming to match any future services delivery. Equally disappointing, despite it being well known, the current contract for the Mersey expires in eight months' time. The department revealed negotiations between the state and Commonwealth did not commence until May of this year. Mr Deputy Speaker, the actions of the Commonwealth in this area are just not good enough. What our community and staff at the Mersey need are after is long-term certainty, and I have to put on the record my disappointment that after four weeks of having written to the minister on this issue, there has been Order. no reply. Order. I call